hello friends welcome back to another video on this channel in today's video i will show you my new creation an ai opencv and python based ball balancing platform basically i have this platform here which is connected on a hinge as you can see and it is connected to a servo connected to my arduino which is connected to my computer the computer is running a python program that can basically use this phone here this phone is running droid cam which is streaming there as you can see on that window there that feed it can take that it will detect the color green as you can see i have this little thing on top of my car which is a green color it detects that and it can see where it is as you can see the blue line there that line is where the car is and the red line is the center line basically it will take that and it will convert it into this masked image as you can see there and it will take the white color part and try and center it basically by sending a signal to the arduino to move the servo which will tilt the platform to uh, move the car into the center so let me show you when i move the car here a little as you can see when i move the car, uh, platform in any way the car moves and uh, sorry the, when i move the car the platform then moves and it will uh, according tilt according to where the car is with respect to the uh, platform and center it as you can see if i push it that way it will tilt this direction now it is uh, quite a short platform so uh, if i push it too hard it will fall off but as you can see if i gently push it the platform is tilting to account for the extra like to account for the fact that the car is not at the center and it will keep moving it until it is precisely at the center line as you can see every single time i move it the car will just simply come back to the center so basically let me first show you guys quickly the wiring so for wiring i have this box here this is a custom made thing i just it just has a uh, 240 volt to 12 volt dc converter and then over here i have another board in here which is our 12 volt to 5 volt 5 amp converter and basically from there as you can see i have three wires but in reality it's just two connected to one of the ports and another wire this yellow wire here is the plus 5 volts which is going straight into my servos plus 5 volt and then the black and this yellow wire both are connected to the ground port the black wire is going to the arduino and another ground wire is going to the servo and the last wire the red wire as you can see that is the signal wire coming into the pin number 9 on the arduino basically the re by the way if you are wondering the reason for having the ground only connected is because the pw this is working based on pwm signals so basically they are like blocks like this so basically that distance and the uh, distance of the like the two pulses and as well as the width of each pulse determines what angle the servo will be at it's called pwm controlled pulse width modulation so because of that basically for uh, continuous signal proper signaling we have to have a common ground because otherwise it will just uh, like sometimes there's like uh, extra pulses and uh, which uh, can mess like shake this cause vibrations and stuff so that's why we have the uh, same ground but the power is fine the arduino is basically powered directly off of the usb port connecting to the computer now for the software let me quickly switch over to the computer and show you guys the software all right so as you can see i have switched over to the computer now let me show you the codes first of all let me talk about the arduino code this is the code running on the arduino it's very very simple i simply have the servo library and basically i have just set up to take the serial port of whatever the servo is receiving and just print that to the servo it's quite simple there is basically nothing there uh, this this thing here it's basically starting at 90 degrees so basically for it to start off flat that's basically it on the arduino code very very simple not much there uh, let me show you guys the python code so as you can see i have the python here now this is the droid cam client uh, so because i'm not using a webcam and instead streaming my data from my phone to the computer I have the droid cam running so I can minimize that and when we run the python code as you can see as I mentioned this is the cam so as you can see you can see my finger here move uh, accordingly wherever I place the uh, car and you can see the blue line trying to center the car based on the red line uh, and this is the masked image so basically this is the part where it detects the car as you can see here based on this image so when I move it as you can see the image moves itself accordingly and as I said, sometimes it just falls if I move it too fast. But as you can see, if I do it gently enough, there it's 
uh, automatically center lines it now after that basically all I have to do is uh, from there like uh, we take that signal as you can see it's taking that data uh, with wherever it is and it's sending it on to serial so if I stop this code and uh, open this so uh, you can see here for libraries we are obviously using the serial library we need time library as well and numpy uh, and cv2 for libraries you have to download it is a serial library numpy and cv2 you will have to download separately so just uh, if you are using pycharm you can just go here in python packages part and just search that and download it other than that some of the things you will have to change is this here so this is your com port uh, or the port so where your arduino is connected if you go over here into device manager and if you go over here into ports you can see arduino uno is connected on to com port 7 so you have to check which port your arduino is connected on and you have to put that here so just change this number and don't change this is the C baud rate of the serial basically as i as you saw here it's starting at 115200 uh, so we are also putting 115200 here to uh, have the same frequency to match them other than that basically uh, uh, another thing you will have to change is this which is your video capture source the device so zero it starts from zero goes up to how many other devices you have so basically zero is typically your webcam or in my case droid cam as i do not have a webcam uh, you ca if you have multiple then it will go like one zero one two three like that and then this is something you might have to change this is uh, your uh, PID uh, adjustment basically you might have to slowly like if you see your system is not working very properly like it's uh, shaking too much or something like this slowly start changing some of these values like go like you might want to change this from 0 0.02 to 0 0.01 and stuff like that just I would recommend you if you are seeing too much uh, trouble then just set everything to 0 and start slowly putting 0 0.01 from each of these and start checking out which improves it and go from there other than that basically here we are taking the uh, here basically we are just take saying the desired position which is 200 because this frame itself we are resizing it to 400 by 300 so half of that will be 200 so that's where the center line is basically uh, so we are taking that and we are saying that we will first we'll basically convert the image into uh, HSV scale so we can check which part of the image is green and which the rest of it will just mask out so basically we'll take the contour we'll find the part where it is green and we'll basically just remove everything else while keeping that part white so the, now we know where exactly it is now we'll just center the whole thing so to get exactly one point which is approximately the center of it and that point we will compare with respect to our 200 line with the red line you saw and that then based on where it is if you see down here basically we'll see where it is uh, by calculating it here and after that we will simply find that error and we'll put that into uh, the uh, we'll simply basically put that onto the arduino uh, serial port and we'll send that data to the arduino which will then come convert that uh, serial data into your pwm data which will send it to the servo and the server moves so basically yeah, that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and i'll hope to see you guys next time